then you guys leave and it, the H was H healing. Hey. And just as e before. for pain. <laughs> oh. H for healing. All right. Oh. So what do we see next? You guys go for a little bit and you see an A again and a P. A well, the two we've already seen but didn't take. Hmm. I don't know if Mans is on some Dark Soul shit. P could be anything. <laughs> it's not I, a poison I still, swamp. I still feel like P's got to be poison. I don't. Pain. I don't feel good about it. I don't know what A Punishment. could be. A could be uh asses. Acid. acid. Hmm. I like asses. Axes. <laughs> it could be acid and poison, but and also axes. ooze was kind of acid. Mm. Ooze was ooze. The acid was just kind of a part of it. But the slime was. Let's. What I... What do you think? A or P? Ooh, I'm gonna say. I think a let's see better. if it's an even let's number. Do a. If it's an Let, even nope, number, we're doing a. a. All right, we're doing A. <laughs> I got an even okay. number. You're lucky. <laughs> you go down the A path, and after a little while, you come across a clearing with a seemingly like perfectly square, like made of uh, uh, like obsidian Ooh. vault door. But the door is we're heading like, into the Nether. Uh, it's like a perfect like. The door looks like the st- like the comical like vault door, but it is slightly open, and this vault structure is like twenty foot by twenty foot. Like there's only like a five foot gap around this structure. You guys don't see an exit from where you're at because the the door itself is like right in front of yeah. you once you get to this area, and it is slightly ajar. Like it's not shut. I'll investigate it. Okay. As Go we walk up to it, I'll I'll keep an eye out on the surroundings. Wise, that's wise a nat twenty. Oh, twenty-seven. Oh, shit, twenty-seven. Okay, Damn, you examine son. this door and determine it to be both unlocked, easy to open, and not booby trapped in any way. Hell yeah, I'm, I'm opening w- it. All right, you open it and you see mountains of equipment. Ooh, all equipment? with a weird sparkle to it. Armory. A is armory. As far as you can tell, uh, there seems to be basically any kind of gear you could possibly imagine, but with a weird sheen to it. Hmm. In addition, there are a couple of strange pieces. If you guys roll an arcana, I, a good enough arcana, I'll tell you what they do. Come on. Daddy needs a new... God Daddy damn needs it. a new pair of... Sure, boots. didn't wish that. This might not yeah. be bad, I guess. Oh, plus five. I got, an Hell eight. Yeah. I got an 18. Ooh, 19. Okay. All right. So this 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 one was actually a very easy check. Um, every single piece of gear in here is a plus one version. And there is any piece of gear you can imagine here. Oh, wow. So you can replace every single piece of equipment you have with a plus one piece of gear. Oh, wow. Uh, All right. But you wouldn't be able to carry your old equipment and your new equipment. Mm. So you would have to. Uh, well. So in addition, there is other stuff. So if you guys want to go ahead and do the math on what that's going to change all your equipment and your armor. I just want one AC plus one thing. That. I'm not too too greedy here. I'm going to replace my short sword and my short bow. Mm-hmm. I'm replacing my boomerang and my armor. All right. So now I'll both of those are plus one. I'll just go ahead and tell you guys there's there's no penalty for taking more. Okay. I'll probably take uh Is there do I see a plus 1 ring anywhere? Uh no, no. So th- there are there are actual like jewelry and stuff uh-huh. that have special advanced properties I'll get into, okay. but at least for right now, basically any kind of gear you're wearing, okay. give yourself the plus 1 version. Okay. Cool. So just like daggers uh, and crossbows and stuff like that. Daggers, crossbows. If you have armor, if you if you I have armor, armor and shield, your AC went up by two. If you're if you just have armor, it went up by one. Okay. But now robots all don't of your wear stuff armor. is magical. Uh, robots do wear armor. I'm pretty sure we don't. Yes, you do. You just convert it into you your can body. Do whatever you want to. 
Robots are cool in D&D. So instead of like wearing armor, you just take armor and make it into your body, but it's the equivalent of wearing it. But you don't have gotcha. to deal with like donning and doffing. But it does take time to do that. So I would say you would have to spend like 30 minutes to an hour to exchange your current armor for an upgraded piece. Yeah. Uh, also, I will... Uh, Tyler, while you're deciding what you want to do with that, looking at armor and stuff, I will go ahead and tell you guys uh, the other magical items. Okay, actually, I'll just go ahead. I just put a PNG. It is all of the magic items you guys find and exactly what they do. If you guys can't tell, I'm giving you all kinds of cool buffs and stuff whenever you guys pick right paths, because if you guys face that monster, uh, I'm prepared. It will <laughs> fuck you right up. I'm going to take that pole of collapsing. Question, do robots breathe? <laughs> no. So breathing are, bubble are would do nothing uh, for me. Are you I'm a warforged. Correct. Oh, yeah. Robots don't need to breathe. That, do that doesn't do shit for you. You don't need to breathe, eat, or sleep, gotcha. but you do have to go into like a, a stasis mode or whatever gotcha. where you're still conscious, but you're immobile. I'll take the boots of false track, false tracking. I got a plus one everything, plus one boomerang, plus one club, plus one dagger, plus one leather armor, and then I got the pole of collapsing. Yeah, I got a plus one uh, short bow, plus one short sword, uh, plus one armor. And the uh, boots of false tracking. Nice. Um, I think I'm going to take the uh, rope of mending and the clockwork amulet. And uh, I right. uh, took the studded leather plus one, uh, plus one cr uh, crossbow, uh, hand yeah. crossbow, and two plus so, one daggers. So if I understand correctly, nobody took the breathing bubble or the feather I'll take token. The feather oh, you guys token just leaving it? Well. Oh, I thought somebody well, took the I mean, bubble. you might as well take bubble. the bubble thing. I, I asked yeah, about yeah, it, I but would, I don't breathe. Yes. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. take that. Yeah. I'm a fire boy. I don't see myself yeah. getting in the water. Yeah, Canonical. I'll take the breathing okay. bubble. All right. So anyway, that's what was in that room. And other than that, so once you guys leave the vault, you go around the side and the exit was just behind the big vault like room. Uh, and the the sign says a armament. Cool. Uh, and then you continue forward. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so it took some time for you guys to kind of get equipped and everything. So all three of you now with just your passive perception, you start to hear a faint vibration in the ground. All right. That's doom, 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 doom. Uh, you can tell whatever the source is is very far, but but very big. It's very far, but you can still hear yeah. it. So that's what you hear as of now. Uh, now you come across another crossroads. Okay. And your choices are P and R. Oh, another P. Hmm. What could the R hmm. be? Oh, ah, oh, ar, or oh, hmm. oh, up. Uh, oh, ar could or, be oh, ar. Hmm. rain, uh, red dragon, run, run, red giant, red death, <laughs> reggae man. <laughs> I, 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 I still feel really bad about P. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Um, especially considering. If we look back at what we've already had, the A was good with A and O, the H mm -hmm. was good with H and P, and the A was good with A and P. I'm just going to assume that one of these tends to be good and one of these tends to be bad. I might be wrong. You know, we might- P could also you know, be figure platinum. Out that that's wrong. P could be positive. P could I, be pleasant. I, I, think we mm. should, I think we should go with R. Just I, looking I like at past R. patterns, I could be wrong. Yes, but A came oh, back and A turned out to be really cool and awesome. But A came back with one. True. Like A, yeah. We'll test this theory for now. R. And yes. if R tends to be wrong, then we'll see what P has to offer. Yes. All right. You guys go down the R path. And after walking and you guys are like, you at this point, you guys have because the because the sun is not mm -hmm. moving 
and it seems like it's just permanently midday, you guys can't see any of the mountains that you know to be to the distance on the left mm-hmm. and right because this whole like forest and labyrinth is kind of in this massive valley between two different mountain ridges. You can't see any of that. You guys have no idea where you're at, like <laughs> yeah. in reality, yeah. if that makes sense. Damn. Mm-hmm. We're in like a weird plane that is just yes. this maze and nothing else really. You are in this maze hard. Um, I go hard in so the motherfucking af- maze. <laughs> af- after some walking, you guys come to once again a another uh small clearing this one actually is probably the smallest of all the clearings because it's actually a 10 foot by 10 foot circle that uh looks like there's a small campfire in the center and there is two tents already set up is our rest Uh, and (laughs) uh and there's a little looks like a little laundry curtain Whew. tied to a tree there's a tree here a tiny little uh, like a little apple tree oh, pepper yeah. just well, starts uh, doing we, like we no take apples. we take a rest yeah, yeah. pepper yeah. i don't need to but we're here cracking his bones it's no been i hours. need my fucking my spell slots back fuck you we're taking a rest uh, a short rest or a long rest Ooh. Ah, fuck i'd it. like Let's a long, long rest, rest please yeah i mean it doesn't matter for me yippee okay. i i will say that robbie 100 percent recognizes that things have been too good for too long um yeah. and oh, as you guys i will say as you guys entered this area you actually did you didn't hear this the stomping didn't stop mm-hmm. but for it sounds like it grew significantly fainter all of a sudden mm. but it's still close enough for you to I hear see. i just had and i'm, I'm gonna say this is pepper because i had this realization but i think pepper would have probably even after this long rest hopped up and been like what if the longer we take to figure this shit out, the closer whatever that is gets? Or that way or the other way around? No, I think it backed off because we were having a sleepy town junction and it was like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, go off, go off. But like, that's probably our only true time of maybe safety is to sleep in a restroom. And I don't think we're going to get a restroom after this one for quite some time. But I have right. the distinct feeling that when we're back on the floor and solving and puzzling and doing it, that noise is going to get close again. Um. So after you guys spend a few minutes here, um, kind of talking to mm-hmm. each other, uh, deciding whether or not you want to set up camp, you notice that the fire uh, gets smaller by about an inch after a few minutes. And like, uh, you can kind of, now that you're looking, because you kind of like, you only half noticed it because your passive Mm -hmm. perceptions are so high, you can actually visibly see that the fire is shrinking um, and it will probably fade to ember in about an hour. Oh no, it won't baby, produce flame. (sighs) It has no effect. Oh, shit. Is uh, an hour see. long enough for a long rest or no? It's enough no. for a short rest. Yeah. So I mean, let's, the let's just fun. take a short rest. Let's take a short rest. I don't know that we should. I don't, I don't know that we should stay here longer than this fire is going to last. But what do you what do you think, Pepper? I think, yeah, I think we should try to be quick about this, because even if he's not stomp or whatever that is isn't stomping around this fire is clearly telling us get it together (laughs) all right Uh, okay so you guys successfully take a short rest um you guys recover whatever you want to recover at the end of i I haven't spent anything yet yeah i'm not sure what uh classes you guys are playing so i don't know or i shouldn't say that i don't know what resets for you guys on a short rest nice uh recover your (laughs) one erection point (laughs) uh uh, so uh after a short rest the ember the final flicker of light from the fire fades away and as soon as it does the stomping returns to as loud as it was before you entered this area yeah it hasn't gotten louder but it it's not it's not faded Uh, all right yeah let's get out of here yeah all right we mosey okay 
Your options are I and T. I and T. And was that rest? Uh, oh, yes. I'm sorry. Uh, you guys guessed it, so I forgot to say. Rest. R was rest. Hmm. All right. I think Jeremy got rid of the P because we solved that riddle and we just were never going to choose P. <laughs> <laughs> um, I and T. Was it a piss room? Please tell me it was a piss room. I ain't saying shit. Um, Let's see. I and T. What could fans I Fans in the comments speculate about I piss cream? room. Gross. I, it could be like an investigation room or oh it could be incinerate i don't like that i don't like incinerate uh what could t be it could be a tree room to rask i'm kind of it could be a test i'm i'm uh it could also be preceded with pk (laughs) i'm i'm kind of feeling i'm kind of feeling t you guys I, i i i don't know why I don't. I don't know why, but I mean, I'm kind of feeling T. I will say you've been, you've been leading us pretty good, so you know you're you're our leader. I I would say. W- would you say that, uh, Pepper? I'd say I know I, I would, the two of you. <laughs> I don't know that I would say that, but no, I'd I'm say that disagree. I've been I'm kind of vibing the T. <laughs> I- I'll tell you this: uh, this is not my first time to the human realm doing something silly with other people. You guys are fine. Are you my leader? I don't. I don't know. Bro. I'm not claiming to be anybody's leader. I'm for sure. Just for sure. Put I'm, that out look, there. I'm, I don't. I'm just really giving myself an out in case we all die, so I can blame you. You know, you, I'm, you I'm know, sorry. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, you can call me the leader. I don't care what right, happens. I, I, I'll I still start be walking the towards T. Okay. And uh, the leader has said T. He says and follows him. <laughs> 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 so. uh after a after once again same as before as you go in Mm -hmm. closes immediately behind you you walk um for actually a pretty long time this time you go something like Mm -hmm. three hours this time of just walking maybe maybe the the t stands for tasty the the stomping doesn't get stronger or anything it's just you know it's you can hear it behind you it seems like as long as Mm -hmm. you maintain this speed it won't get any closer uh hopefully uh, but then you come across a wall like in the path. And mm-hmm. as you get closer to it, uh, like to be clear, it's a hedge maze. Like it looks like a dead end. But as you get closer mm-hmm. to it, you realize there's actually a small uh, pitch black hole in the ground that burrows underneath that uh, underneath tunnel. And it's pitch black. Da, 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 like it, it, like even though that does it, sound the like opening tunnel. <laughs> Even though the opening is like in the light, it is pitch black. I, mm-hmm. I could go down there. Oh, I mean, oh, it sounds like we're all about to go down there it, it or get is, caught by whatever. Oh, I thought it was behind us. super small or something. It, it is. It is small to the point where if you're not small, you'll have to crawl. But if you're small, mm. you can just walk. I, I, I mean, don't know small as in like how small I am. Small is in the is the category like the, in D&D of The small. category of small? Mm. Yes. How how big is that? I got a medium. Maximum height is four feet, but space is five feet. Mm. Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. I'm medium. But so I can become a small, small because... Well, so I would think I'd be able to fit in that, right? Uh, are you shorter than four feet? Well, it's... Well, but, but I'm not... Feet. But I, I, standing up, I'm four and a half feet, I said... Oh, but it says the okay, space so then you, is you'll five have feet. to you'll have to like like if I'm if I'm cra- like if I'm crouching I would have easily crouch. be able to you, you won't have to full crawl but you will have to like crouch it won't be like a yeah. just walking through okay I mean if you want to go go ahead do we have any way of getting Loren through here or are you just gonna have to crawl uh, <sighs> getting Loren through here. Are you good to just crawl? I don't know what else, <laughs> what other options we have. Yeah, I'm going to turn into a capybara, and I'm okay. just going to look at Loren and kind of shrug. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll shrug back, and I'll just start crawling down. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll lead the way, and I'll cast uh, light. Also, as all the trip. animals that Pepper okay. turns into are ginger, like he is. Like so, a reddish um, kind of... Mm-hmm. When you cast a light spell, it seems to hit an almost magical wall 
where mm. the light does not penetrate this tunnel itself. Ooh. Do you All go right. in? Never mind then. Do you still go in? I mean, there. Do I see anything else there in the room no around There are no other options. Go in the fucking tunnel, you coward. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The going, capybara yeah, I'm going walks in. into the tunnel after shrugging it. Yep. Going okay. in. So the order, just to make sure, is uh, Robbie, Pepper, Loren. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, you guys go as soon as you break through the surface of the tunnel. It's pitch black, like immediately. There is a perfect mm. wall of pitch black, cool. and you guys go for. You guys are crawling or hunched over for quite some time. I, I, I picture myself as kind of like rubbing yeah. the sides, like to see if I'm mm-hmm. like missing anything. This, or... this is a is a weird winding path, and it's kind of hard to keep track of time when you're just kind of moving forward in just pure blackness. Like you can yeah. hear your comrades around you, but other than that, it stays small. It stays quiet outside of the noises you make. And then after about 20 minutes of going through this tunnel all of a sudden you are back in the maze it is clear again the only strange thing is uh you guys came out as in pepper lauren robbie order which is weird because you were touching the walls the whole time so how'd they get past me (laughs) yeah but anyway, uh, you got that's the order you guys emerge in, and the so a capybara emerges first. A capybara <laughs> emerges first, followed by the crawling man, and then the lead, the apparent leader, but somehow ended up in the back. That's strange. Hmm. All uh, right. Other than that, you guys and the head. I'm just, just chewing continues. something. They don't know what I'm chewing, but I'm chewing something from and in the tunnel. You look on the <laughs> you look on the side, and it says T for tunnel. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Just hey, I do a little there happy was dance because I saw it. It was just a tunnel. That's, <laughs> That's it. It was wonderful. All right. What's next? I'm gonna stay at Capybara for one whole hour. I was gonna <laughs> let that be like a big thing where you guys would like contemplate it, but it's fucking. I was like, we don't got time for this. Oh man. Go through the pitch black. There's nothing. It's fine. Okay. So your options are L and Ooh. U. L and U. Under. We just went under. Uh, no, we, we went under where? We mm. went through a tunnel. Ha ha ha. L could be lich. L could be mm. lit, dude. Fucking it could be, be lit. It could, it be, could lit. be light. Mm. Um, could be life. Could you be, was tough. I don't know what else could be you. Could be Leviathan. Undead. Ooh, it could be oh, undead. God. <laughs> L, L could just be for like you know lose you lose the game. I'm gonna leave it up to fate to give me a gut decision. Here we go. I Ooh. like it. I like it. Uh, I think that's you. Yeah, that's gonna be you. All right, let's do you. Ooh, All right, I you. don't feel good about it. All right, you go down the view path. It's your uncle. And he's very sick. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you come across what is certainly by far the largest. The clearing. sickest uncle you've ever seen. He's the, skateboarding and he's on dialysis. <laughs> the largest clearing that you guys have encountered to this point. It is like a huge, like, it is like two or three football fields worth of space. Oh, um, shit. In the back right corner of this uh, area. There is a a small uh, a small building, um, and between there and here, other than that, the rest of this clearing appears to be a massive graveyard. Oh, and man. Uh, in the distance, not that far away, you can actually see uh, a man. He appears to be uh, manicuring the. Uh, a gravestone and like kind of cleaning it mm. and um Dang, there it sounds like you were right kyle he, oh, man. He, he 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 appears to just like he hasn't noticed you guys he's in the distance a ways uh he appears to be uh doing something fidgeting around with uh some headstones that you guys can see in the distance i'm just gonna turn around as a little capybara and i'm gonna be like wait I'm going to scurry off behind the man. I'm going to try to stealth up onto the gentleman. 
But he's like all the okay. way across the, the thing. Yeah, he's right? he's like a hundred feet away, like in the middle okay. of one oh, of these. Oh, hundred like, feet away. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah, like he's yeah, like a hundred feet dead. away, and he's like in the middle of one of these like cemetery oh, like roads. I'll do like a like mm-hmm. crouch and to be like to be clear. There's like with me. There are paths and like small little black iron fence areas. So like there's different mm-hmm. sections to the cemetery. Is this he's, another maze? He no no no. It's it's, <laughs> it's it's just a cemetery. It's a very well kept cemetery, and it okay, seems cool. like there's some kind of order to it, though you can't tell just from looking at it. But like it's an organized, well maintained cemetery. He is in one of the small like sections. I mean, if it's just a cemetery, I personally don't think that Pepper is scared of a cemetery. But like, if it's like giving off like yucky vibes, that's a different story. It, it's giving off whatever vibes you would get from a, a cemetery. cemetery that is very well maintained. Yeah, I like, think he finds it very peaceful. Like very none calming. of like none of the none of the uh gravestones that you can see nearby like have any kind of debris on them. Like they all look like they were just made yesterday. But you can tell by examine, the dates. Yeah. Could I examine uh, a, the closest gravestone? Yeah. Uh it's I'm it still says, a little capybara, by the way. Mm. Can I can I join in on that? Uh yeah. I mean, you can you can literally just walk up and. Oh, this is so fitting because I'm a capybara. I think I just start eating whatever sort of greenery is around it because I rolled a three plus one. That's a four. (laughs) There's grass and there's flowers. Oh yeah, I'm munching down. Uh, What did you get on your investigation, Matt? Uh, I haven't rolled yet. I'm kind of hanging back because I don't Uh, feel good about this. Fourteen. I mean, I'm trying to like stay low and like you know, but fourteen. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'll say both of you notice because it's not that hard to see. It it says here lies Palangus Delangus, uh, <laughs> adventurer extraordinaire. I uh, have to know more about Palangus Delangus. <laughs> he it's it says born question mark question mark. Uh, oh, died man. died and, in nineteen ninety x. Died in. Uh, I'm not worried about the total time, but you guys can tell looking at it. He died something like 150 years ago, and he okay. was the age of. Uh, 26 when he died. Oh, shit. Uh, other than that, it doesn't say anything out of the ordinary, and, like, there's nothing specifically special about it. Can I look around? Do all of these, like, like, at least if there's any other ones, do all of them have no beginning date? Correct. None of them have a clear beginning date, but a very exact death date. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna like crouch down. Uh, and they all have different. The it, they all have different messages. It doesn't seem yeah. like there's a consistent rhyme or reason. Very yeah. many of them mention that they were adventurers, but not all of them. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, very obviously, uh, this is uh just the people that died in this the maze. This is where we die. This is where we will not die because well, you're a thing I yeah i'm not saying yeah i'm just kind of looking at you like <laughs> oh fuck with captain yeah. bar eyes um i have i have two ideas we can uh, it, and there's a it, there's a uh like an exit like a uh, like on the other side correct yeah the, this this, this path actually like opens up to be like a 10 foot path and then there's basically mm-hmm. just paths that branch off left and right to go to the different sections okay. one of the paths near the end goes to that main building but uh-huh. if you stay on this main path, you can literally see the exit across. Like it's just a perfectly straight line across if you just wanted mm-hmm. to walk through. But okay. uh, the the guy who is uh, the person who is like taking care of that, doing mm-hmm. something, fidgeting around with one of those gravestones, you would get close enough to them if you just walked along the path for them to notice. Like you'd get within like yeah. thirty feet of them. So it'd be yeah. weird for them not to notice. Yeah. So does it look like just a guy? Yeah, from yeah. I mean, yeah, you're like a hundred feet away. He, he, it, yeah. it looks like a. Uh, I was just going to cautiously approach them. A gravekeeper. What do they call? What are the people that uh, take care of a grave groundskeeper? A groundskeeper. Yeah, he looks like a. He just look. He's dressed from the distance. He looks like a groundskeeper. Yeah, I think the little cappy bar is going to take uh, a wander over. Okay. Uh, so it, just the capybara, or do all three of you guys? Y'all can come if you want. Capybara is going behind, to the guy. but I'm like, I, I've got some distance. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have more. Distance I'm being cautious. That. I'm being submissive. The second I get close, I show my <laughs> belly. Uh, so uh, you guys come over there, and uh, 
the capybara, I'll say you notice first. So uh, he's just, you can tell he is, he is a half orc. He is mm-hmm. extremely old. Like he, he looks old, but uh, like old for orcs. So like 60s, 70s kind of age. Mm-hmm. And he's cleaning up one of the and caves. He is, he is literally just, he's got like, a little scrubber and he is currently like scrubbing uh, I'm the, gently walking over and I'm gonna eat some weeds away from the area that he's also cleaning oh I assure you there are no fucking weeds he of is way really too <laughs> dangerous yeah, for there to be a there, single no. goddamn weed <laughs> I, at best I, I will I'll give just you like, that some of the grass is slightly too tall that's the best you will <laughs> yeah. get I think, I think I'll start like just lightly nibbling and like assume the loaf position beside him with my little leggies up underneath me uh he uh half scrubbing and sees you he goes well hello there little fella what are you doing here and he goes to like pet your belly i'm fully letting him have at it that uh, seems at, great as as he turns to start petting you he sees you two who like weren't sneaking or anything walking mm-hmm. a little days away and he kind of like uh Pets uh, the capybara again uh, a little bit more, and then he stands up and he takes off his like uh, groundskeeper hat. His whole outfit is all black, which I assumed mm-hmm. you guys knew, but I just wanted to clarify. Mm-hmm. Uh, and other than that, he's goth the, as fuck. We like the, it. O- the only this the only real distinct thing, other than the fact that this is a very grizzled old uh, half orc, mm-hmm. is that he does have a perfectly pristine golden chain with a sundial on it that has a shadow that does not seem to match the sky. Mm, um, that's cool as hell. Uh, but anyway, he takes off his hat and he actually covers up that dial, but like he wasn't, it was just like a, just taking off the hat to be polite, yep. not to, he wasn't like jerking it down to cover it. And he goes, well, hello. I haven't seen any living in quite some time. I, would say it is nice to see you, but in truth, it is a pity. And he looks very sullen. Buck up, old man. I'm like 120 feet like behind like everybody. And I'm just going to yell out, why is that? <laughs> I'm just going to poof and be laying casually with my hands behind my head. Uh, okay. Why the long face, old gent? So Lauren magically like nice appears uh, right next to everyone else because uh, God doesn't take any fucking cowards. You get with your party, you coward. <laughs> also, 120 feet away. Hear that nonsense. Uh, so, so uh, he actually is not surprised by the fact that the capybara turned into a person. I like, oh. And I genuinely did ask him why is he so upset? What's, what's making him sad about our encounter? He he looks and he says, "Well, you seem lovely." I. Gave you pets. I hope that doesn't make you too uncomfortable, my druid. Not at all. I love pets. So, I... It saddens me because... That capybara state is my original form, by the way. Continue. Almost almost every time I encounter someone, I usually end up having to bury them later. If you would be so kind, um, could you tell me your dates of birth for accuracy? Shucks, a ruski. I'm, um, I'm a robot. I, I understand most. <laughs> most I'm really old. Take ill to this request, but I wish I could have given more of these souls an accurate burial. I was I don't born know, like man. five I look nineteen, but I'm like three hundred. Yeah, I was born like five years ago. I think I'm like five. So oh. I won't. We don't have to worry about exact dates. <laughs> I, Do you guys give him? The day the day you were born slash manufactured. Uh, sure. I, I give him a, as good a estimation yeah, as I same can. Same with yeah. me. Yeah, uh, he he mostly only needs the year because like it doesn't yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Three hundred so, years from the current date. As you guys go, uh, he also is. A, and what what are your names? Pepper. Robbie. Loren Underwood. Uh. <laughs> He we were doing a thing. He takes it. We we're gonna and... do like a sing songy, like a da 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 da. Okay, go ahead. 
I want to hear you guys break into a spontaneous song right no, now. Okay. Oh no, no. I was I was oh, I was I saying that to I ruined the moment. No, okay. You didn't ruin the moment. I was saying that to Lauren as Pepper because we were kind of doing a sing songy thing, me and Robbie, and then Lauren just said their flat out name and it was very bland. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh the Undertaker, as you guys are telling him this information, he pulls out like a tiny little black book that he has and he just seemingly just jot jots it down, puts it back in his little uh, inside pocket of his coat. He said, thank you. Um, have you encountered the creature yet? And then he looks at his sundial and he says, I would suggest not lingering here long or you will encounter it. I think we've smelled it before and I drew a craft, a skunk stink. Oh, <laughs> rancid. And Whoever smelt it dealt it. Am I right? Not at all. What oh, it smells no. like. But th Awful. this old this this old geezer does bring up a good point. We probably should get going. Exactly. Not... The longer we wait around, the more time that thing. Can you at least answer that? Is it like based? Is it a time based encounter? This this fool. Are you asking like the God longer or we the dilly? Undertaker? Well, yeah, I'm asking the Undertaker. The longer we dilly. <sighs> The the dilly and dally does is it the is it the more danger we're in? That is generally uh, my perception. If it weren't for this amulet, I would have been captured by him long ago. Thankfully, it this tells me how close danger is, and mm. I can see that uh, there is an imminent threat within. 45 minutes based oh, on the shit. shadow. So I I can only assume it's almost always the creature here. In other places when I adventured, it was different things. But here, the only true threat is the creature. I I would suggest that you move on with your journey and I will go to my cellar until the danger passes. Uh, Ooh, shit, it's, we go it's, to it's been it's <laughs> been an honor to to meet you sir yeah thanks. Uh, that's not my voice uh it's been an honor to meet you sir can can i give you a hug you seem very sad like you could use a hug i shall gladly take a hug from any and he... um well while he was rambling on uh mm -hmm. i used some of my random stuff i have to fashion a fake necklace yeah, and oh, when I, I hug him, I'm gonna shit. try to I'm gonna try to steal oh, the necklace shit. from him. All right, so uh, sleight of hand. Yes, I'm gonna need a sleight. Oh, of I hand. should Damn. I should warn you, my sleight of hand is crazy. I want you to roll a um, what kind of? Do you have any tools or anything? Uh, I have uh, thieves tools. Okay, okay. So then I need you to do just a straight roll. To see how good of a fake amulet you make. Okay. Mm. <laughs> and see, straight D twenty. Can I can I'll, I give I'll him say, advantage by by druid crafting some little some little gold bugs on it or some gold beans? <laughs> I'm gonna say no because I don't think because you didn't know I was doing well, this. Yeah, yeah, one you didn't know yeah. he was doing it, and two I think druid craft causes temporary effects generally. Yeah, no, I know. I just yeah. trying to touch him real quick, and we run out of here. And then when they fade That's away, an he's like eighteen. An 18? Wow. Okay. All right. So uh -huh. now roll now roll your sleight of hand. Oh shit. That is a 19. Damn. I rolled bad, but I got plus 13 to sleight of hand. Oh, God. Holy shit. You Jesus got expertise Christ. or something in that bitch? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, you do. So uh I will roll a perception for him. No fucking way. I need to pull up his stats. There oh, was is like, it going to be close? Uh, yes. On the die, God he got a, I would on the roll die, a he got a 17. Oh, like, so I would wasn't worried six. about it. And then I fucking. Yeah. Nope. Uh, so. Uh, as as uh, you go forth with the hug, you successfully switch out the amulet. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. And he turns to you with a very sad face and he goes, I might have given it to you had you asked. Oh, no. Uh, and I, But I have it in my hand? Yeah, presumably. I run off. Okay. He doesn't stop I you. I run off down the tunnel. He absolutely does I, not stop you. 
That's fine. He, uh, he just looks at you sadly. And then he sorry, looks at the I, two of I run, you. I run down the tunnel and I wait yeah. once I'm out of sight. I wait for the guys like <laughs> sorry, once I'm out of sight. grave dude. Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll did, leave. Did we just accidentally rob you? Accidentally? It was no <laughs> well, accident. Well. I had one valuable and your compatriots stole it from me. Um, Here. Have this. And I'm going to give him a single ball bearing out of my bag of 1,000 ball bearings. <laughs> he takes it and he's like, okay. And he puts it I in his pocket. I know it's not the same. And he but pulls like... out his pad and you guys can't see it. He pulls out his little notebook. And next to uh, next to Robbie, uh, he just writes uh, "terrible thief" and question and exclamation point and a little note: uh, "retrieve amulet upon arrival." Oh man, oh, his ass is hey, waiting damn. for your dead body to hey, come through. Hey, that's fair. Hey, that's, oh, fair. Yeah. that's fair. I deserve it. That's fair. That's why he wasn't worried about trying to get you. He's like, everybody's oh, fucking dying. So I have nine hundred and ninety-nine ball bearings out of my one thousand <laughs> ball bearings. Make sure Jesus. you oh, mark nice. that ball bearing off on your character sheet. Ooh, I've got to make sure that I mark down that I no longer have a thousand ball bearings, but I in uh, fact have nine hundred and ninety-nine ball bearings. And then he just turns to you and goes, "Please go. I must." Figure out alternative means of expecting the beast now. Hopefully I'll be able to maintain this graveyard without that. And he looks quite In sad. your time of greatest need, you hold on to that ball bearing <laughs> and you wish with all your heart. <laughs> And I, I will man, come to you. Like holding I the ball give bearing. A, I, I fully am deceiving him. I'm making this a deception check Go for or it. a persuasion check that no, this I ball bearing be will deception. summon me to him. You're trying to oh trick him God. into thinking you handed him a magical ball bearing. It's absolutely yeah. That deception. if he if he prays and holds on to it, also so tight, you guys I have like return. a bajillion magical items now, and you're still choosing to not give this fucking guy. <laughs> Any of them. That is <laughs> <clears throat> that is plus my deception is eighteen on deception as I pass him the small bearing and I look him in the eyes and I got little tears in like the corner of my eyes as I'm saying it and I'm gripping his hand kind of tight and I'm just like, you hold on to this and if danger comes, you hold on to it and you wish with all your might and I will be here. He he looks at you and he goes, Thank you. I hope I won't need it, but this means quite a lot. And he tucks it away. He just runs off. <laughs> I think, I think uh, Loren will just kind of stay behind as the last one and just look at him and just shake his head as like, I, I think that's just the normal ball bearing, but uh, here you go. <laughs> and I'll give him, I'll give him the uh, clockwork amulet. Okay, I love it. And I will have him roll again with it since you, you basically just gave him advantage. <laughs> okay, no, he, st he still thinks it's a real, he still thinks it's real. Oh, <laughs> uh, and he takes the clockwork amulet and he goes, this may save my life. I like to life. think it's just like one of those chalk candy necklaces instead of his clockwork amulet now. So he puts and, uh, that amulet on and it's a yeah. little a little clock timer that uh, is, yeah. the hand is stuck on 10. Mm-hmm. And uh, as I run away, uh, I'll just yell out. <laughs> you also um, run? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm running away. I'm running away. <laughs> run like he, he gives you and no one else. Oh, well, no, actually, no. He gives both of you, but not but not Robbie, a very, like, sullen uh -huh. wave. Like, he's trying yeah. to send you off happily, but he did just yeah. get the I one thing keeping back, him alive. And then I don't no, want to waste my other use of wild shape because I was going to turn back into the capybara because I told him that's my original part. <laughs> <laughs> oh How my much God. do you want to sell this lie? Oh my I God. really wanted to sell you that lie. I'm, just, I'm not saying man. anything. I'm leaving. Let's get out of here. There's a right. bad thing coming. Okay. <laughs> Um, Continue. <laughs> okay, so uh, I will tell you, uh, Robbie, you just acquired the Doom Dial, Ooh, a small sundial dial. on uh, on a on a gold chain, as I described, and it tells you how many hours you have until you encounter something that will likely kill you. Oh shit! Cool. Uh, it will how show nothing if such dangers are further than twelve hours in your future. The time adjusts. 
on the fly based on the wearer's choices. It doesn't predict death, only serious danger. It oh, needs damn. a source of light to create this unnatural shadow that marks the time. The time runs down and instead of up on the dial. The dial gets hotter the closer danger is until causing fire until, until causing one point of fire damage per turn when time is up. It oh, can't be man. removed through non-magical means while burning hot. That's pretty cool. So basically, you know exactly how far the closest like life-threatening danger is as long as it's it's less than 12 hours away from, from your future. Okay. But if you That's make really cool. if you make choices, that time will change on the fly. But not oh, until man. those choices are like unreversed already all. made yeah, yeah like like it, within the context of this maze you won't know the danger until you until close, we're there until you choose a path <laughs> oh, and then it. you'll know <laughs> if that makes sense so yes. where is it at now presumably he's wearing it no, no like, i mean like he said time? it was like 45 minutes oh away. yeah 45 it, minutes. it's 45 minutes it hasn't changed okay cool so it's, oh, it, shit. It's, all right it, what's in front of us uh okay so because we're moving on up he, Moving oh, on and um, to the, the little side. sign as you leave uh, is Undertaker. Uh, so your next choices are L and P. Oh, L and P um, again. Oh, I don't like that. Well, okay. Well, now. <laughs> okay. We didn't start hearing stomping until we got closer to L. I'm just saying. You know what? I'll what? say it. Closer P. to L? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to say it. P. Yeah. Okay. We have yet to figure it Let's out do fully. Pink. Let's do it. We, Tunnel was yeah. the only one that we got on the money first try. Yep, that's right. We didn't start hearing like I mean we were pretty close to P the whole time. I'm getting in. I'm stopping. I'm I'm sauntering into P. Yeah, we're right. going to P. You guys uh, walk, and as soon as it closes, uh, the the dial does not change. Stays at forty five minutes. Um, okay. So the danger is neither closer nor farther. Um, and cool. as you guys okay. walk, the way of knowing. as you guys walk down this path, um, this one is by far the longest. You guys are walking for like four or five hours, oh not encountering wow. can anything. I, in the midst of that, can I check my potions? Yeah, oh. yeah, you absolutely have time. Look um, at our kind of check on those babies. So that um, is a sixteen. I mean, we got like, those on the second room we found. Yeah, but it's yeah. been like some hours. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it's been a while. It's been a okay. while. So, uh, your potions <laughs> uh, have here. degraded, and now they are only 64 plus 6. Okay. Oh, 64, 64 plus 6. Plus yeah. 6. As you guys are walking for four or five hours, you are not seeing anything. And then all of a sudden, you hear a rustling in the left or left wall of the maze, and then it opens up, and you see a familiar little face. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Oh, oh my God, it's Abel, you're alive! What's going on? Hello, oh, yes, high I five was just... me right now before you say anything else. High five me right now. Oh, absolutely! He sticks up two hands, double high five. Oh, double high five! Incredible. And like he is <laughs> leaning out, and like the the branches of the hedge are literally like supporting him as he's like leaning his whole body out for high fives. Mm. So Dude, like the yeah. branches are clearly like working with him to mm. move him how he wants to move. Can I give a high oh, five to the to the ew. hedges too? Uh, yeah, he's coming out of the fucking yeah. bush. Yes, he's what, like coming so out you, of the bush with like wrapped in these branches, and he goes, "Hey guys, how you enjoying my maze?" And he's got like a little like a uh, little questionnaire in his hand. He's like, "Do you have time for a short questionnaire? I'm trying to make the maze more fun." Sure. I I don't know that we hold have on, time for. On. Listen, uh, it's if like you do 45 it, minutes behind us. I don't know if we have time. No, and, uh, oh, and Pepper just like whispers uh, like this behind his hand. The P could stand for paid survey. We could get uh, money. <laughs> no, it's okay. Here. We can we can uh, we can walk and talk. So he yeah, says that. Okay, and then, yeah, let's walk and talk. Right? Really, right? he is perfectly like he is in the air with his little pamphlet, and but he is mm -hmm. going as fast as you guys walk. But the mm -hmm. branches are just carrying him along, <laughs> and he's just sitting with his little feet dangling because oh it's wrapped God. around his torso. And he's just sitting like dangling. He's like, "Okay, first question: How do you like my brother Kane?" Um, um, I'm not sure we've met him yet. 
Yes, we have. He gave us oh. the tickets. Wait, we, we no, have Abel seen gave him. us the tickets. Oh, that's no, that, was a, that was a lie. If you guys met Kane, you would be eaten, probably. No. Or yeah, maybe I not. figured we didn't meet. I figured we never met Kane. Yeah. So is is Kane the creature that's been chasing us? Is that? Well, some people do call him old big stoppy stoppy death boy, but you know, I don't like to call him that because I think that's mean. He's Kane, my older brother, who's very nice. Hmm. Once you get to know him, he's got he's got like a stone heart, but once you crack through, oh, it's so wonderful. He's so lovely. Like this a one time, center, we, we eh? haven't met him yet. Like this one time, uh, yeah, like a nuggety center. Like this one time, my dad. Whenever we found him, he was like, "Look, son." It's a new, it's a new person. We should raise him. He's just a little baby. And then as my dad went to pick him up, he came bit off his pinky finger. How cute is that? He's just a little guy. He bit your so dad's fun. finger? Yeah. He bit it clean off. And then it, I, it, my dad looked and he, he didn't drop him. He said, can I ask you, can I ask you something? Should be named can I ask Kane? you something, Abel? Hey, Abel. Sure. Can I ask you something, Abel? What's up? Does your brother in any way, shape, or form look like you? No, he kind of looks like a big, scary lizard with semi-reflective, a uh, semi-reflective carapace, and he's about the size of an elephant. But he wasn't yeah. always that size. Does he have he's... horns? How'd you know? <laughs> have you met? I, 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 I thought you were lying about those tickets, but you must have so... met him. Funny story. He's just a I young boy. He's gotten quite big over time. Definitely not he, met Kane. He used However, to be the size of a puppy. But he's gotten bigger. I don't know what Kane is. Yeah, he's my Ooh. older brother. He certainly <laughs> is. What hey. what is he? Well, he's my big brother. An unkillable monster. Well, you oh, that doesn't mean we mean. can't. That's kind of mean. You aren't going to try to kill him anyway, right? No, no, for no. sure. There's no way to, so why even attempt? <laughs> anyway. You're kind of scared. What do you mean, un- what do you mean unkillable? He, I hope you're not. If he I don't like this conversation. I, think... I don't like this conversation. We're not, I'm just asking what he means. We should continue with the questionnaire. Don't stop <laughs> If he is what brother. I think he is, he's immune to a whole lot of shit. All right, question two. Are you going to stab my brother Kane? Oh, that's weird. It's no. relevant. No. Okay, good answer. Okay. And then third question, what was your favorite room so far? I liked sitting in the fountain. Yeah, I like the armory. It's for healing. Oh, okay. Good. You, you like this. You like this. And he jots it down and he's like, on a scale of H one for healing, A for armory. Really great. Also, a- right now, so far, P has been pretty great. Yeah, what is P anyway? Oh, I don't know, but I, I promise if you guys let me finish this, I'll help you out. Oh, is uh, it a paid is survey? It huh? 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 Uh, so the next question: uh, On a scale of one to ten, how would you rank uh, my service? What do you mean? Oh, did I do ten. good at the ticket stamp? Oh, ten. ten. Oh, yeah, you did great. Ten. Ten. Ten? Oh, perfect score. This is fantastic. I like these results so far. Okay, next question, and this one's important. Have you guys figured out the puzzle yet for the maze? Are we supposed to be spelling something? That's the right track. Did you figure anything else out? Nope. (laughs) Okay, okay. We've got... Partially figured it out. Oh, It's the puzzle to... Is the puzzle too oh, harp? hard? Oh, harp? No. Oh, harp it? I, I would assume. I can't, I can't give you any oh, hints unless assume. that's what you want in exchange well, for O oh, was bad. Hold on. O was bad. Yeah, A. Hey, you guys. You. I, I actually uh, would like to finish the survey before you continue. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I yeah, will go say, ahead. Sorry, sorry. If, if you want, I can give you a clue as part oh, of yes, the agreement. Please. But only, but that will be what you get for filling out my survey. You could get something okay. else. It's sure. up to you. Okay. So oh, wait, one, wait. What else could we get? One more question. Uh, and then the survey's over. Um, so uh, hypothetically, if you encountered a really cool sword uh, in the middle of the forest, would you try to pull it out if it was stuck in a stone? 
I mean, are we yeah, allowed who, to who, pull the sword? Who, who wouldn't? Yes. Unless, if there if there wasn't a sign that says not to, who wouldn't? Oh, if there's not a sign that says not to, that's good to know. Okay. I mean, John sat down. He's like, would pull out if no sign says they can't. <laughs> and he like dots it, and he's like, okay, thank you for your feedback. Okay. May, so maybe if, yeah, that. if there was a sign that said, <laughs> I, I'll just let you know right now. If there was a sign that said don't pull, I would most definitely pull. Oh, I would too, but we're talking to the... <laughs> yeah. Wait, are you telling Abel that, or are you just saying that no, as a person? I think oh, no, 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 I thought... No, yeah, Pepper thought is telling, telling Abel that. Oh, no. a- oh. a- Abel looks at you, and he adds a note, he's like, some people will pull if there is a sign. So, <laughs> sign? Question mark? <laughs> uh, goes, Maybe okay. two signs. Double question mark. <laughs> he's very confused now. Uh, so then he looks at you, he puts the little paper away, and he's like, thank you. And then he uh, shreds it up, and it becomes confetti. And he's like, I appreciate your help in this uh, work efforts. So, uh, as promised, I will help you guys out in one way, as long as you don't trick me into hurting my brother. So, All right. you can, sure. you can, you, what would you like me to do? Does it count as hurting your brother if we send him on a vacation? Oh, yes. My brother would love to leave, but if I could help with that, he would have left a long time ago. But for whatever reason, my, my lovely maze just wants him to stay. It's very strange. I've asked it to I let think, him leave, I think but we it should goes, take a no, clue. no, no. Yeah. Oh, you I, want the I think clue? we should take a clue, you guys. I, I feel like we could just use a little bit of help. Yeah, mm-hmm. give us give us some give us some hot juicy clue. Okay, what excellent. Do we have we have phone I a friend. Ha- we I have uh, I have something. Who's just- a friend we could phone? <laughs> I have something that I think will be able to help you. And Ooh. he pulls out a piece of paper, and uh-huh. it's got three like hangman style like blank words in it. Um, blank but- letters, you mean? Yes, blank, like, like it looks like the space is for a hangman game where it's like clearly yeah, this yeah, is supposed yeah. to be a word. And mm-hmm. some of the letters are filled. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you, uh, so okay. the first section has has eight spaces. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you the spaces. And then I'll say... R-S-T-L-N-E. Uh, <laughs> so it's T-R blank A oh, blank shit. U are blank okay does that make sense yeah Mm -hmm. so treasure (laughs) and then uh the next one is t r blank u blank p h treasure triumph triumph. and then the last one is t u r blank o blank blank Treasure, triumph, turbulence. Anyway, thanks for the thanks for the survey help. Bye. And he goes back into the hedge maze, and you guys continue. Uh, Or do you guys want to talk for a little while, or do you guys want to just continue? Mm, I think we'll like continue to walk, but also talk a little bit. So the first one's treasure. The second yes. one's triumph. I yeah, don't know what that third word is. Turn. Turncoat. Nope. Mm, no. Turnpike. Well. <laughs> turmoil. Oh, it's turmoil. Turmoil. Treasure, triumph, and turmoil. What do Oof. these words do for us, though? <laughs> Oof. Um, All right. We're gonna find treasure. So we might even find triumph. After thirty more minutes, uh, uh-huh. one the the dial has not changed. It's still at forty five. Cool. Okay. Um, you guys come across M and S. M and S. Let's go to M. M. So we just came from P. Whoa, 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 wait. How many letters do we have on treasure? So M and S. Well, I guess every letter we've seen so far has been involved. Yeah. In these, never mind. There's no S in turmoil. Also, what was P? We can yeah, finish spelling true. out treasure. Jeremy, what was P? Oh, triumph. Triumph. Uh, tri- uh, P was um. 
Oh yeah. If he was the one feet. you thought was you just did, it's promise. Promise. Oh, well, oh I'm sorry. You that. meant the sign. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, P promise. I forgot. Um, yeah, promise. so it's treasure, triumph, and turmoil are the okay. three. Um, man, M or S? S. Let's S. Finish S. spelling Let's out treasure. It. Let's finish spelling out treasure. Okay. Smart. Yep. S. All right. Uh, S. While you thought the previous uh, that cemetery was the largest clearing, this is by far the largest clearing. Oh, it looks yeah. like a whole proper like like farmer's field style like multiple acres in this clearing like you can see the exit of this area in the far like far away um through this huge beautiful like meadow with wheat growing and uh there is a small village that seems to be along this very gentle river and there's there are like bees in the air but they don't seem aggressive in any way and all of the people <laughs> in the distance are behaving quite friendly uh but you guys are uh whenever you first come into this area there is a a perfectly clean like marble stone with some arcane uh text on the top of it like a like a pedestal made of marble with arcane text on the top Right at the entrance Can of this I area. Examine the text to see if it's in a yep. specific language. Okay. Uh go ahead and roll um an investigation or an arcana, depending on what you're trying to do. Oh no. I mean, can I can we also just tell you the languages we speak in case one of us actually already speaks it? Uh sure. Common and elvish. <laughs> Sylvan, Com Elvish, Druidic, and Common. Holy shit. I speak common, thieves can under common. Okay, it is not in a language any of you recognize. Mm, okay. Oh shit. Then uh, what uh, what kind of check like did you say? Ooh, an investigation I'm doing or arcana. arcana. That's nineteen plus five. That's a twenty-four. Ooh. I also got a twenty-four. Okay. Uh, you can for investigation. Uh, yep. So you you recognize that it's in draconic. Oh. Um, wow. And uh, you're not sure what it says, but Kyle. Uh can tell that it is a cleansing stone. When you touch the stone, you can use an action to activate it and remove dirt and grime from your garments and your person. <laughs> Lots of cleaning so, in this place. So if you touch it, it just fully cleans you. I'll touch it. <laughs> yep. And just with a frink, I mean, you guys were already pretty clean because you just yeah. recently took a lovely bath and you have not encountered a little sweaty. any danger. Well, we did have to go through that tunnel, so. <laughs> uh, Is the floor yeah. in here particularly Oh, that's true. Dirty. You did have, like, you had dirt and stuff from the tunnel for sure. Mm. And Is it's the all floor gone. in here particularly dirty? No, I mean, it's as dirty as a lovely meadow would be. I just roll around on the floor and I don't touch the stone. Okay. <laughs> You're, and I you flip are... the bird to the stone. You're filthy. And we keep walking. The stone yeah. explodes. You've solved my puzzle. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. covered in grass and dirt now. You guys you guys approach. And um, as you approach, you uh, encounter very many, like, small little rabbits in game that are weirdly, like, not scared of you guys at all. Just, like, just curious and kind of looking at you. Like, mm -hmm. and then like, as you get closer to the village, you see more and more small creatures. And then you just enter this town of our town is a bit strong. There's only like 50 people here. It, it's like small tents and everything. And there are some like buildings, but they're very small and simple buildings. But everyone, uh, everyone immediately. And I mean, everyone uh, that can see you turns and goes, ah. Someone new. Welcome the S stands for sacrifice. Sanctuary. The S stands for sacrifice. The S stands for sacrifice. We've got to leave. We've got to uh, leave. We've got to leave. And We've got to leave. They We've all leave. come rushing forward with the biggest, happiest smiles. And they're tiny woodland creatures, right? No, 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 no. There's humans, and then there's also oh. happy woodland creatures nearby. Yeah, no, like, fuck that. I'm going to activate primal savagery. Pepper's nails and teeth grow long and sharp and start to produce a poison. And okay. he's just hissing at them and telling them to back the fuck up. Oh, sick. they do not. Right. They do not 
react with an ounce of fear and they just go there's no need for violence like oh that. my You're god in sanctuary we need to now. leave he's <laughs> just like he <laughs> looks back at you with fear in his eyes yeah. and his teeth and nails are sharp <laughs> I, I will take go. no convincing we gotta go i will take no convincing yes let's leave i'm <gasps> yeah I'm i just running. start fucking tearing my way through them to get the fuck <laughs> out of here there's no <laughs> there, no way no chance in hell that he is feeling any bit okay with this scenario. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, You've never I want seen you to roll, this side uh... of Pepper. Pepper is fearfully <laughs> just like slashing and like biting and just like pushing people. You don't have to roll any attacks because you, with every swipe you are going to hit someone. I do want you to roll three like just damage dice so I can get a feel of how hard you are hitting these people. Okay, good. <laughs> the attack I do believe is uh 2d6 poison yep 2d6 no 2d10 jesus yeah no he's real he's real scared I, i'm gonna commit to it <laughs> oh my god 15 15 uh for damage and you said three let me roll one more hold on yeah that is 21 okay so 21 okay i love it so you are you are just viciously like swinging and yes, you get a couple terrified you get a couple small cuts on some of them, but then one, you get a really good in, like in there and you clean chop this per this man oh in half, God. just fully clean chops him in half. And like both pieces fall at no point. Does he lose that like happy smile until his eyes close and he is dead. And then after a few seconds, his eyes open and the smile comes back and he's like, it's okay, friends. I understand you're scared. Don't worry, I'll be okay. He is, and his all the torso color is just drained from Pepper's face as legs this is happening. begin to fuse back together. And the other people you cut, like they're healing. Obviously, you like you pushed your way through, but like as you got to the other side of this people and you're on the bridge that like crosses the river, you see that the people you hurt have already healed and the guy like is fusing with his torso and like in the process of getting up with a happy smile. He's like, don't run away. It's totally fine here. Pain isn't real so long as you're in sanctuary. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 Uh-uh. <laughs> Pepper is um, running. I'm just going to like start blasting off Eldritch Blast Pepper is to try to make a path Pepper through. is fully <laughs> gone. No, like. I assumed I assumed his path that he made was open enough for you guys to also oh, okay. go through. Yes. Okay, gotcha. He is fully running I, all fours I'll, yeah. as yeah. fast as like he could possibly move, like dash action, yeah. getting the fuck out of here. Okay. Uh, as you run, the townspeople don't seem to be chasing you. They just are kind of, they didn't cross the bridge. Like some of them got to the bridge and just kind of yeah. looked. Like they kind of turn their head sideways, a little confused. And it's like, why wouldn't anyone want to stay in sanctuary? Oh well. And then they turn around and like return to their oh man merriment. I yeah. As we're running away, um, just because I don't think I'll get to use this. You said this this room is like super huge, like really big. Yes, you you guys okay. are now like an acre or two away from okay. the river I, like the small little gentle stream and you've guys got like another <laughs> acre or two before you actually even, get to the okay, exit gotcha even though we're like totally past them oh. i'll still like i'll i'll still like look back every now and again and snipe uh an eldritch blast uh because i have eldritch blast up to 600 feet so I will God. until we get past 600 feet just like Are you just sin- firing indiscriminately yeah, just at them. I'm at, not at calling the little them people. both. <laughs> run! Run! No! Yeah. Don't look back! Just uh, run! Uh, so go ahead and roll me a perception, Matt, if you would. Okay. Perception. And then also roll an attack. Just one. Uh, So 17 on perception. <laughs> You're going to hit okay. somebody and just hear like a Wilhelm scream. And <laughs> uh, for my attack... uh, Ooh, 21. Lovely. Okay. So you uh, shoot one and it goes just perfectly like it goes between two people and then perfectly hits a small 10 year old little girl at a campfire square (laughs) in the head and her fucking head explodes and blood gets all over her little doll. Uh, And then after a few seconds, her head implodes back together and she goes back to playing with her little doll. 
Oh, I hate this so much. Okay, yeah, I'll, let's I'll get stop. out of here. Yeah, let's run. <laughs> Alright, anyway, you guys uh, successfully uh, escaped Sanctuary, and at the end... Um, oh my god. At the end, once you guys exit, the path closes behind you, and there is a little sign that says, S, Sanctuary. Sure. <laughs> there was nothing sanctimonious. Is the, uh, <laughs> is the Sundial's time the same? Yes. Yeah, we should have uh, looked actually, at that while we were there to see if we were yeah, actually going to die. Probably you should have. Probably oh, you should have, but it currently says well, 45, here so. Here we are. Uh, oh, actually, man. no, I'll say it says 50. You guys 50? have actually right. you, you've gained a little bit of ground. Hell yeah. Uh, All right, let's keep going. So uh, your choices are I and M. Oh, I no. Figured. Well, oh, that's okay. God. Both of those go towards triumph. triumph. Okay. We just need to never choose L. Oh, man. Let's do uh, I. What? Oh, I don't man. know. I still feel like incinerate on I, but we'll, we'll see. I thought we did an L. <laughs> no, no, we, we did do L. Oh. We choose I. Uh, we cho- we choose. Oh my god. We, we choose you and P. We choose. Uh, All right. That's my so, favorite right, character I. in Adventure Time. Choose Goose. Choose. I. Goosed. Um. You guys. Uh. So, as you're walking down the path. Your dial actually begins to feel hotter. Oh, yeah. Well, that's uh, expected because it's also in turmoil. And I have, I have robot skin, so it's okay. Uh, you can you can look at your dial and you can actually set, see that the hour that the shadow is getting smaller and smaller, and it's only about at at ten minutes right now when you start to notice the heat. Oh shit! So it's up to you what you do. Because uh, uh, oh, you weren't man. looking at it as you were walking, you were just walking. So you only it only started to get hot at ten minutes, and if if you stop, it doesn't seem to be getting hotter. But if you go forward, it seems to be getting hotter. And uh, I have a question: when Have we, we like, already gone through and it's closed behind us? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have. Well, to well, well I mean, to, what I mean, else to be cl- we do? so to be clear, the the path isn't like closing immediately behind you. It just closes at the place where you entered so like yeah. the best you could do was go back to the beginning of this path we could ask uh, the the labyrinth to just open back up for us i never thought about that but i could see let's let's try to go back and go through m because that see. dial is <laughs> okay, freaking I'll me cast, out yeah <laughs> i'll cast speak or, well plants. let's just walk back and see if it yeah does it work if it way? opens back up for us to go back you walk back okay. and it yeah, adds we'll time walk. It stops burning. Oh, hell yeah. It adds time. For the first time uh, in the entire maze, the danger doesn't seem to be getting closer when you stand still. It seems to be staying the same amount of time away. Hell yeah. Maybe now we're getting, like, by proximity closer to it, so it's like, doesn't have to search for Maybe it. it's more of a metaphysical closeness mm. to danger like based a, off a of our completion. decisions. Yeah, like a... A Maybe it's of... more of a paranormal presence, and we mm. have to set up infrared cameras. Mm. Let's let's try. We're gonna try to go back and go through the M. Yeah. Okay. So you get to that closed thing. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't just open. No. no. I knock. Exactly. Pad. I figured. <laughs> I knock. <laughs> uh, you knock and you slap grass, and nothing happens. Oh. Or not grass. You slap leaves and you slap <laughs> leaves slap and grass. slap grass. Little scratch. I'm slap going hands. to slap grass. Excuse me <laughs> while I slap grass. I'm going to cast speak with plants. A. Hey. Right, what are you like, saying? What up, hedge? Hello, Hello, little one. It is nice to see you again. Not that I it's haven't nice not see you seen too. you. I got one question before we get into the real meat and potatoes. While I'm talking to you. Is Abel okay being like slung about in your your many, you know I would never <laughs> allow any harm to fall upon Abel. And that he is grew why me you from are the a man hedge. That is why you are the man hedge. You understand how valuable that little baby is. Anyway, uh, I was gonna ask you, uh, He has nurtured and we, protected uh, me for eons. I would never harm him. Really? Is he like kinda like your tender in a way? If that I am unfamiliar with that word, but like a gardener, if you... like, like a like like does oh, he tend to you? He is the only one who has ever tended to me since I was just but yeah, a not sprout. like the dating thing. I don't know if you know. I'm about unfamiliar. That. Your, your bush is fine. 
It's a thing in the Feywild. I'm on Hinge, cool. though. Anyway, <laughs> what I was going to ask was, uh, we Pick accidentally, up, since we were right here by the entrance, it wasn't like a unanimous vote to come through here, right? We were wondering <laughs> if maybe we could get one Gibbsies Baxies and go back real quick and pick M. You you feel free to say no if that's like the rules rules, right? Like, I understand. I I know you got a job to do or whatever, but I have, could, I have the ability to give on, you... Hedge. Hedge. I have cool, the ability hedge. to give you... Hedge, you remember, thank you. Hedge, do you assistance. remember the hugs? I do. Roll persuasion with advantage. Ooh. Hell fucking yeah, Hedge. That's a natural fucking 20. Oh, hell yeah. Well natural okay. 20. Natural 20. So natural the, 20. the hedge goes... Plus 7, so that's 27 in total. The, the maze goes quiet for a little while, and then... I normally do not provide this particular pathway for less than necessary reasons, but know that this is the only time I will be able to assist you in this way. Otherwise, For it sure. would be no, unfair. No, I would never... Look at me, And uh, never uh, as he that. says that, the path... Like, the wall... Uh, the A massive letter E grows in flowers. Uh, and as, if, as you touch it, the pathway opens back up. On the ground in flowers, uh, on the other side, is the word escape. Wow. Uh, and you Dude, guys are hedge. You guys are I, now. I think like Pepper is like teary eyed at that. That's so sweet. Uh, so now you guys actually have something interesting. There's actually three paths now Ooh. rather than two. There's still I and L. Mm -hmm. uh, but now. Uh, there is also an empty path with no clear marking on it. Hmm. There's I and L? Yes. Or, is I'm sorry. Was, I'm just... sorry. No, no, no. I and M. Sorry. Yeah. I um, and M. Gotcha. So there's I and M and then a new path. Not not including like the way you came. So like there were three total uh, let's paths. Let's go down the new path. Well, okay. How about this? How about this? As I approach each individual path, does the timer start to change? Um, no. Like, as I approach I, so as which I know made it hotter, does uh, it? So uh, the the clock reset to to fifty the moment you guys returned back to this junction. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and like you can't if you just like half go down a path it doesn't seem to change so it'll only yeah. update once you you've to chosen make that decision yeah. yeah i say let's go down um, the new one but i will say you do notice like just being here and taking time it does seem to be running that clock mm, but like in seconds new, new path new yeah. path new path yeah. going down the blank path yeah. new path uh all right so you go down this blank I path. i dab hedge up before the spell ends mm -hmm. for that sweet fucking oh he absolutely <laughs> like does like yeah, we whatever fully, you like, put, dap each other up real quick. It's so fresh. He is in like, perfect a, sense. You are. Truly. I'll do a little uh two thousands like guitar riff. Like <laughs> no, I just start playing my I start playing my longhorn and he makes like a plant based longhorn and we play them at the same time. Uh, okay, so you guys go for uh a little while as it winds back and forth and. A not the largest clearing that you've encountered, but it's similar in size to the ooze area where it's mm -hmm. like 60 feet by 60 feet perfect square. Uh mm -hmm. there is one slight difference. As you enter the are as you come upon this square clearing, um instead of like a normal single path, it's like multiple branching paths, like the inner weave, that are uh bricked in solid gold. And then Ooh. between each of these winding paths are piles upon piles of every kind of currency you've ever seen, an uncountable amount of it, as well as like random pieces of equipment glistening with magical power all over the place. And at the oh, very wow. back of the room, you see, or I'm sorry, at the very center, there is a massive pile with a big 
golden sign that reads in all caps treasure uh, hey. And you guys have successfully um, made it to the treasure room. And in the back of the room, hey. in the back of this yeah. room, there are there are two doors. Ooh. One that says exit, and the other that says return. Continue. Um. Well, I will say that Robbie, uh, because it's in my programming. Mm -hmm. immediately goes and starts scooping shit up <laughs> so, as much uh, shit as I can carry there, mostly money there is uh, because you already got you looked earlier uh, there are plus three versions of every piece of equipment you can imagine oh shit <laughs> and you can have as much gold or platinum or any kind of currency you can think of you could have diamonds Whatever you oh want, my God. as I much want as you can carry. I have revivify. I goddamn need diamonds. Please, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> in, any any magical or non magical item is there, and it is in its most elegant form. The oh, only man. thing you can't find here is a weapon that isn't engraved with jewelry. Oh uh, man! <laughs> everything is gilded and beautiful and perfect. That's funny. I love that. Uh, so you guys can equip yourselves and leave the maze or return back to its depths to see what else you might find. One thing you distinctly do not see here is any kind of particularly powerful magic sword outside of the plus three magic swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, if you look at that little piece of paper you guys have, treasure... Mm -hmm. Is the very is the top word and it is fully filled out, and you still have two more words mm. that are only partially filled out. Well, I feel like we gotta do triumph if we want the sword. Mm-hmm. And but... then and then we finally do the last one. DM, is is there any uh any like trees around? Any do I no. see any no, they, this okay. clearing there, you can't even see grass because it's okay. either pile of gold okay. or gold floor. Okay. Gotcha. And then there's just like perfect, like brick gold paths between the different sections. Interesting. Okay. But like all the different like pieces of floor, it's not just gold, but it's like gold mm. and platinum. Like the whole ground is just made of extremely valuable mm -hmm. metal. In a way I'll that probably... doesn't look like a wealthy person threw up. Actually, no. Yeah. It looks exactly like an extremely wealthy person <laughs> threw up. Okay. There is no mm. order to it. Uh, if you guys want to get like all the gear you guys want, you'll have to roll an investigation to determine how long it takes. Because it will take okay. time to rifle through these mountains of gold. I am um, specifically looking for a headpiece of some kind. Doesn't matter what it is, but some kind of really dank headpiece is what yeah. Pepper is looking for. I prioritize just filling everything I can Ooh. with as much money as possible. <laughs> okay. And then also, and whatever would be the more valuable money, obviously, is like it if more diamonds would be more valuable in the same weight of yeah, gold. Yeah, I'm not sure that. off the top of my head, but, but I'll also say like, asks yeah. that if you guys find diamonds, give him some to bring your asses back to life if you fucking die. Mm. Yeah. And then I am going to look for a plus three versions of my short sword bow and armor is it investigation or arcana to check the super dope magic stuff uh it would be arcana oh, and also yes. uh it will take time if you really want to sort to get the most valuable item like mm -hmm. 23 uh, for you robbie like that is totally gotcha i don't i don't actually know if he i think he would honestly be a little blinded by <laughs> yeah all the money. everything like I it, think, uh, if you want to roll to see how strategic he is with it or whatever, that totally I works. I got a twenty-three, Jerry. Or if he's just indiscriminate, for a, yeah. on searching for a specific, Thanks. like a dope helmet or some sort of headpiece, headdress, um, band. You circlet. find a. Uh, you find a. You don't wear armor, right? I wear leather armor, but I'm not really like. Yeah, so I'm you're not looking for armor, though, right? No, I'm looking for okay. like a circlet, some sort of accessories that give me extra little zazzle. You. He find, doesn't care as long as it looks really pretty. You find a crown that appears to be two 
too valuable too valuable for even a king the oh, wow. the diamonds and emeralds in it are glorious it is it is white and green and gold uh with platinum engraving and it's just mwah. and it is a plus three arcane focus he puts it on over his tiny little deer horns so you'll yeah, get to like, add a like, plus three to your horns, DC like check and to your attack, magical attacks. Hey, I rolled a seven. Oh okay. man! All right. Uh, what were you looking for? Uh, I wanted to find a plus three short sword, short bow, and armor. Okay. Uh, I'll say, and I will say that Robbie is very blinded by all this treasure and loot yeah. and shit. Yeah. That he it has not even thought of the fact that this is taking a while. Yes, Robbie, you are successfully able to find all of that. Uh, I won't say how long it takes because basically it's just going to take it take as long as whoever rolled the highest, the lowest. I mean, so mm -hmm. now Loren, and then I'm also just roll. indiscriminately sho shoving money into my pockets and bags. <laughs> Love it. Go for yeah. it. Yeah, that he isn't thinking about. Yes. All right. What about you, Matt? Um. So Loren's going to be looking basically just for like a plus three, uh, like leather armor. Um, and then any sort of like. Any like magic enhancing, you know, items. So like any rings, you know, yeah, you know, uh, amulets, circlets, anything like that. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll. And this is investigation. Yes. Oh, natural fucking twenty for twenty five. Okay, <laughs> hell yeah. yeah, that is wonderful. Okay, so you find one, you find all of your stuff almost immediately, like it. You actually oh, find so like a perfect pile of exactly all the things you were looking for, like after Hell wandering yeah. around for like less than five minutes. The Dutchman's um, treasure. Yeah. The you find a small <laughs> ring uh, with uh, that solid silver gold, the blue, and it has uh, a bunch of diamonds. But as you turn it, the diamonds actually like shift in hue and color. And you can, if, if you turn it, you can actually get it to basically be any color you want. It's an oh, RGB ring. Awesome. I love that. So yes. you can also make it rainbow or strobe effect if you'd like. Yes. Um, Hell but yes. On top of that very I'm cool jealous. aesthetic effect, uh, it is a plus three arcane focus. So plus, plus three, three to your DCs and your attack rolls. Yes, okay. awesome. Sweet. And uh, did I find that armor as well? I'm sorry. Yes, we've got to yes, run. Yes. You had like okay. a perfect yeah. weapon. And this armor is so not like I am the armor. reason it this is, took a long time. It is we're... perfectly engraved and like mm -hmm. even the pieces that don't have jewels in them, like the mm -hmm. metal that's used is like elegant, yeah. perfect metal. Mm -hmm. Um, so that whole process. Yeah, um, my name is literally Robbie. I was blinded by this. Yeah. The idea of <laughs> yeah, getting no. to just steal all this shit. Like, I am so, the reason this took so long. I will say, I Robbie, to... you can have, you'll basically fill your inventory to the point where if you carried any more, you would be over encumbered and like move slowly. But you have over a hundred thousand gold worth of jewels. Oh my God. That you I were think... able to like yeah. gather and hold. But see. everyone yeah. else found their stuff rather quickly. You were sitting there shoveling all these jewels and stuff into yourself mm -hmm. yep. before finally you couldn't hold anymore. And it has been 40 minutes. Oh, so, uh, so and it's only, right on us. So the only reason you stopped searching was because you started to feel the slight burn, like not hurt burn, but like yeah. it basically made you stop gathering jewelry like that was what stopped you. So. Hey, you look at your thing, 10 minutes away. Danger is 10 minutes away. Oh, so? There is a sign marked exit, and then there is a sign marked return. The exit. Uh Oh, shit, guys, we, we got to get out of here. I, Sorry, I got, well, maybe we can a little longer. I I don't know. We got like 10 Which minutes. word do we need? Go. Which we letter, which like letter do we 10... need for triumph? Uh, M and I. Yeah. And uh, but there's there is a lot more tre we no, probably we could fit some more treasure in our pockets no, if we, we I say work we spell we the go. fucking words and we try Look, to get we can always come back the the one treasure we need listen if there's anything I've learned from my man hedge greed is the thing that's going to leave us in here that man wrote down our okay, fucking birth dates um, and our death dates and he's got your number hot pants 
So <laughs> how about we hop, okay. skip, and a jump to the letters we need, and maybe, just maybe, if we press our luck, <laughs> then we can double back. But not, the, not, not, not after we spell. Okay, we okay, gotta, let's let's, let's, get let's the go then. Are we Sword of Legend? The moment you guys go into that return, the path seals behind you. The choice yeah. has been made. Uh, <sighs> and after a few minutes, uh, it still says 10 minutes. So you're still getting that tinge of burn. Yeah. So the, and you can you can all without even having to check or focus, you can hear the boom, boom, mm -hmm. boom. I'm scared. Uh, stomping. My butthole. Uh, it's clenching. It, it, uh, so go ahead and. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. I have to do something. Okay, so you guys come to a choice. L and M. Okay, good. Let's do M. Yeah. I was going to say we should save mm -hmm. I for last, considering yeah. that was burning really bad. Yeah. So M. Okay. You guys go down M. Show me the money. Give me the money. Give me and... the ticket. That's that ticket. Give it to you, me. you find yourself in a clearing uh, after a little while's walk, probably. Actually, this one was actually more like an hour, more like kind of what you were used to near the beginning. The burning, the slight burning never stopped. Um, so it is about 10 minutes yeah. away. Um, but the party comes upon a 30 foot diameter circular marble stage with small steps leading up it on all sides. Three chests in a row sit near the middle of the stage with Ugh, a few it feet. It was mimic. With a few oh, feet man. in between each one. A marble pedestal with two keys, one gold and one silver, is located a few feet in front of the chests at the exact center of the stage. Other than that, uh, there are actually like small, like little elegant bushes that are periodically about, but other than that, that's the only real notable thing yeah. in this. Mm. Um, All also, right. the 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 exit to this room is just in the back of it. Like there is no right, like I'm, the exit is just on the other side. Yeah, and we still have ten minutes. Yep. All right, I'm gonna say I'm gonna like walk up to the like pedestal or whatever in the middle. I'm mm -hmm. gonna look at the other two and be like, "All right, guys, we've only we've only got ten minutes. Pick one of these three, and I'm just gonna shoot it. See if it's a mimic." All right. Uh, as you get onto the stage, I'll go ahead and describe the three chests because yeah. they are like, I'll just describe them. And this is just what you can see without like doing further investigation. So the leftmost chest has silver trim. I could use salt and you don't and, have to get close. Uh, has well, silver trim and distance. light brown wood. Okay. The center chest has gold trim and dark brown oh. wood. The right chest has silver trim and light brown wood. Okay. So the left right, and right one. ones are the same color? The left and right are silver trim with light brown wood. The center one is gold trim with dark brown wood. Shoot the right so, one. Hear me out. The I shoot the right one, one immediately after you say that. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you shoot the right one? Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, You shoot it. It... Plunks in with a quing. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Roll attack. Roll an attack. I'm sorry. No. Yeah. Because that's a thing. Even for an I feel like you were like just in your head waiting for him to do that instinctively. Yeah. <laughs> and go ahead. So you attack it. Go ahead. That's a dirty 20. Dirty Ooh. 20? Okay. Where were you aiming on this chest? Uh, just in the side of it. Just in the... So, so are you going around? Because if you're on the stage, you'd be looking at the front of it. It'd be pretty hard to like. Well, sorry, aside. sorry. Like the front, like the like oh, the, the broad side. side of it. I mean, uh, were you aiming for wood or metal? Wood. Okay. Uh, it dinks into the wood. It only goes about like uh, half an inch, and then uh, it falls to the ground. And now there is a chip in that. Like there is a small little gash mm -hmm. in that. Uh, in that chest, but uh, you can't really examine it from as far away as you are. So you could examine the gash. But it didn't like come to life. No, it didn't. It didn't move. Uh, then I'm gonna go uh examine it really quickly. I am moving at a brisk pace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, roll. Being that I know. Uh, roll an investigation. I'm keeping close behind him. I'm rolling an, like garbage. I, I would like to ready. 16. I'd like to ready an action in case something happens to him. Okay. 
Absolutely. No, 16. I'll ready, I'll ready 16? an Eldritch Blast if it comes to life. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the I'm chip... readying to summon my uh, my wildfire spirit. So the chip that you left on it, uh, you notice two things. One, uh, uh, while there is a clearly like a piece of the wood that seems to be missing from your arrow, there isn't a piece of wood on the ground. There is a small glob of purple, though. And when you look mm. inside of the gash, you do see like it doesn't look like wood. It looks weirdly like this weird purpley flesh texture. Uh, but right, other than that, that alone, uh, no change. I'm going to leave that alone and I'll repeat the process with the center one. Uh, the center one. Uh, you shoot That's, it. That's uh, 28 to hit. Okay. You shoot it exactly where you want to shoot it. And same thing, uh, chip in the wood, but it's too far away. So you'll have to get close to investigate and roll an investigation. Dirty 20. Oh, okay. Man. So with that, um, one, the chip looks normal. It looks like a normal chipped piece of mm -hmm. wood. But you do notice that this chest is actually bolted down to the stage. Oh, okay. Trap. But it is a normal. Yep. Other, I mean, other than that, it behaved like a normal yeah. chest. And there was three keys, correct? There's two keys. Two, two keys. A gold key two and a keys. silver key. Oh, okay. Um, can I try mm -hmm. to. And the center one was the gold to... trim. Can I try to just pick the lock really quickly? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> how, uh, uh, how do I do that? So if you're trying to do it quickly, that means whenever you roll, you're either going to succeed, fail, or break your tools. Or you could roll to, like, just pick the lock, and then if you roll bad, like, it'll take longer, but you'll get it. But How much time have we wasted already? Uh, it's only been, like, a minute. So, okay. like, it's nine minutes. You're still good. Like, it's not starting to hurt Okay, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give it a good try to pick it. Okay. All right. Roll, uh, roll to pick the chest. If you have thieves tool proficiency, add that. That's a nat 20. Hell nat 20. Yeah. <laughs> so 24. E effort, effortlessly, <laughs> like this, this process only takes like a minute and you hear a very satisfying clink and like the you turn to them mm. and like wink and the chest <laughs> is now unlocked. Pepper hey. pr fake faints when he turns and winks. I, I open it up. What's in there? <sighs> All right. Probably some stairs. Inside. Oh, and you better catch me when I fake faint. It's a trap. The oh, stage I, I, floor splits down the middle and opens I, downward. Everyone make a oh, DC sa uh, deck save. I knew it. Yeah, 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 I knew it. Can my deck save be me while Didn't shaping cross my into mind. a bird? Absolutely um, not, but I appreciate your effort. God damn it. 21. It takes an action to do that. This is a, this is a reaction. For a reaction, can I cast Levitate? Uh, is levitate a reaction speed spell? I'll answer that. No. Um, it just says. Oh, is it? Is it not? No, it's like an action. It just says one action. Yeah, oh, it's an yeah. action. Uh, reaction nice. is like super quick. Reaction is yeah. like you. It's something you uh, can do in no seconds. I do seconds. have warcaster. Okay, that doesn't help. But okay. That doesn't help. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that doesn't help. But okay. Good to know. Uh, oh, that's so cool. That's said, cool. Uh, deck save. Still no. Yes. Deck, deck. save. Ooh, not one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Plus three. Oh, no. This couldn't have that gone better. Three. I'm so, so four, fucking excited. Four. Oh, it doesn't matter what fucking bonuses. You rolled oh, not one. God. Oh, this is so beautiful. You guys oh, are going to end up oh, fighting shit. the two strongest creatures in the hey, whole maze at the same time. Thing? Oh, he does have the feather fall thing. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't. Who has oh, it? Oh, no, shit. You don't? Hey. As a reaction, seeing his ass fall, can I throw him the feather fall coin? Wait, you. what did you roll? I rolled 18. You rolled 18, and then what did you roll, uh, Robbie? 21. 21. Okay, you both successfully, like, as the floor gives way, you very quickly, like, catch the side. You're still hanging over the side. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, Lauren was not the one who had that feather fall item. Yeah. Uh, oh, so God. you're going to fall 50 feet straight down, and oh, I'm going to roll some damage dice. That's, That's going to be a lot of fucking damage. Well, this uh, is where we die. Oh, man. 
Oh, it the it, the problem. Oh my God, that was oh, nearly max do, damage. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, eighteen, twenty-three, twenty-six. That's a lot of sixes. Twenty-six falling damage as you hit the Good surface thing you have those potions. of the water. So go ahead and take twenty-six. Oh, okay. Guess what? Warcaster does help me. You can use your reaction to make an op. Oh, it's an opportunity attack. Fuck! Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> always like I'm playing just fucking he knows Warcaster. Time, he uses bitch. it. Yeah, I literally damn. use Warcaster for my other fucking character. God damn it. Okay. Uh, how, much, how much damage? Uh, 26, <laughs> 26. Uh, falling damage. I don't know if falling damage oh. counts as bludgeoning damage or I what. I think it's just bludgeoning. Yeah, so 26 bludgeoning damage. Ugh. I'm fine. That does mean. And you have those potions. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you hit. Feet? Yeah, 50 feet down. So the okay. hole is perfectly circular and the walls are perfectly smooth. And it is a 10 foot wide hole that is our, it's the same diameter as the uh, stage itself, obviously. Yeah. Um, except for the fact that uh, the floor didn't fall away right around that middle chest. Mm -hmm. And like it stopped right before the other two chests. So like, if you can imagine uh. like, almost the whole circle except like the very end of the circle and then like yeah yeah oh so uh, did i not need to save if i was standing right on like right no because the floor chest? right in front of the chest did fall underneath it's just oh it the, is literally just yes the, like the gotcha. the floor right at where the chests are there's like mm. a centimeter of like floor past it yeah. Um, so you basically like caught yourself on the that floor, like, or you might have even caught yeah. yourself on the chest itself. But you are like hanging off the side. Uh, yeah. Um. Well, I'll pull. I'll try to pull myself up real quick. So, so uh, that well, I can hold yell on. Down. Things haven't finished happening yet. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So once he hits the water and he takes that damage, mm. um, Pepper, uh, you, uh, you were to the right. Of uh, you were to the right of Pep of uh, Robbie as he was opening this chest. Mm -hmm. Um, so you kind of you caught on the right side, and before you, yeah. as you're holding this ledge, that chest with the purple, you see its wound close, and it mm. wobbles a little bit, and then it begins to stand up, and a massive creature with the head of a chest rises out of the ground uh, yep. uh and then turns and eyes open in the front of the chest and it its chest mouth opens filled with razor sharp teeth and a massive tongue and it goes it's a high attention and uh everybody's gonna roll initiative A treasure chest monster with yucky long legs and arms? Nobody told me there'd be a treasure chest monster with yucky long legs and arms. I'm out of here. Obviously I'm staying. Tyler still has lil' robot me tied up in his basement for whenever he needs me.